This is the Goal Zero Boulder 100. And I went with this because the uh, ruggedness, durability, and thought put into it from the manufacturer. For mounting it on the Nissan Pathfinder, I did not want to drill holes for the mounting brackets. And I did not want to remove this base because I want the ability to prop this up on the roof to catch more sun or to dismount the panel entirely and locate it wherever I need to in order to get a little bit more light, get a little bit more wattage. So the instructions for mounting this talk about removing the base stand and putting the mounts on and drilling holes, which is not something I want to do because I want to keep the vehicle as stock as possible, not drill any holes, and utilize existing equipment when possible. When it comes to mounting brackets, this is the only option from goal zero. Solar panel will rest in here and this mounts to the surface and there's a hole and it comes with a nut and bolt kit so you have to drill a hole in the frame of your solar panel in order to mount it to this bracket and then this stands off from whatever surface you're putting it on like a roof but the problem when trying to put this on my vehicle was because I want to use stock hardware and the hardware won't fit so this isn't an option for me plus it stands off so if I mount this to the roof rack the solar panel would be higher than the roof rack which is not a look I want to go for and it would have a lot of wind resistance and drag and noise while I'm driving down the road. So I had to come up with my own solution. Shown here is a Goal Zero mounting bracket on stock Nissan roof rack and that's just uh, too high for what I'm going for. So I want to have my solar panel mounted as low as possible. As a proof of concept I took a piece of scrap aluminum and put a few cuts in it trying to figure out how I could Hold the entire panel and the stand, and they worked out pretty well. When putting the mount on the roof rack, we have a problem because it sits too high and there's a gap. So these cross ribs, cross bars, cross numbers, whatever they're called, would have to be removed. They're not going to be compatible with this mount and they'll have to be stowed which is not something I want to do. I want to keep the ribs on the roof in case I want to use that for something else. Or if we're going to stand the solar panel up, I want to be able to have these to rest the feet. And then on top of that, um, just cut after cut has to happen on this. So I have to cut this top piece down so it doesn't cover the solar panel. I have to cut this out to cover the, the corner reinforcement. And then since I want to be able to use this to hold the panel when, when we rock it forward or back or side to side, just cut after cut is going on to this piece and the cost and the labor is just going pretty high so I decided to go another route I'm not going to continue development of this but if someone likes this idea and this concept I will totally go ahead and make it I'll just make a deposit on the project and I'll go ahead and go into development making those what I came up with instead was this piece of angle aluminum cut bent we have the hole drilled so we can utilize your stock Nissan roof rack knobs. When we mount the solar panel, we're going to put the top of the solar panel towards the front of the vehicle. The location of these cross members is important. We want to have this one just under the dip here in this bracket because when we put the edge of the solar panel up in this slot the feet will be resting in this corner or if we put the edge in that one the feet will be resting here flipping this round isn't too difficult So here we have it resting in the, the front cross member and we got the rear rib protecting the roof so the feet have a good spot to rest on. And I like to secure this with parachute cord, uh, also called 550 cord. Wrap it around this strut we can tie it off to the knobs. I personally like slip knots.
because you can get a good amount of strength. And then also when you're ready to leave, When stowing the solar panel, I like to use the inside of this channel as a storage area to tuck away the 550 cord. So it's always there when you go to deploy the panel. The front roof rack is all the way to the forward position. The solar panel is resting on the cross members and we take the the rear roof rack and we move that forward so it's pinching the solar panel. So the solar panel is now resting on the cross members and it is pinched front and back. So the only thing we need from here are brackets to stop sideways movement and from the solar panel coming off. Locate one of these little sliders, use a stock knob, screw in your bracket, and slide it on over. When it comes to the production version, I'm going to have the bracket marked, make it easy for the end user exactly where these ribs need to be located. There's a Goal Zero Boulder 100 mounted to the roof rack, the Nissan Pathfinder WD-21. Links will be in the description.